What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. On today's episode, it's... Eviction Day. Time to get that little bad boy out. All right, five o'clock in the morning. We just pulled up to the hospital. We're here for the induction of little baby Risk. So let's get to it. All right, so we packed super light for this stay. With the other three kids that we had, we stayed the entire three days here at the hospital, me included. It was a lot of fun. It was like a vacation from work. It was beautiful. Grandma watched the kids. It was really nice. So this time I only packed my laptop. I'm not really planning on staying because I do have to get home and take care of some business, but the honey is gonna be staying. What do you got in your bags? My bags? Oh yeah. Well, we got the baby's bag, all of his come home outfits and diapers and stuff. And then we got mama's big bag. We got our cozy blanket, oh, duh. Oh yeah, super soft. hospital blankets are like so thin. Yeah, you gotta get like five of them. And then all of my toy trees and new clothes for the next couple days. Your toys and trees? Yeah. Nice. Duh, all the trees fit in here. And this is an equal opportunity household, so she's carrying her own bags. See, I wasn't joking, she's got all the bags. <laughs> Look at this height difference, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't it awesome though? It's beautiful, I love it. I get to look over your head whenever something's coming behind you. I can always watch your six, even if I'm in front of you. It's pretty cool, it's really, it's honestly the way it should be, but here we are. Wow, look at the lighting here, that is gorgeous. Wow, goodness gracious, Ooh. look at that face. Hello, you're Hi. coming out today. Get out, get out. <laughs> All right, there we are. We just made it on time, and they just told us, the security on guards. On time? <laughs> well, we were on time. The security guards told us that we could have came in through the front door. We didn't have to go through security. They checked us. They patted us down, asked us if I had weapons of mass destruction, which I don't today. They're at home. What do we do? Oh, it says unlocked. It's unlocked, so you just push. It's a regular door now. It's not a security door. Wow, this building is huge. We got to walk all the way to the other side. So the worst thing about giving birth is you can't eat anything. Eat or drink anything other than water. They'll give me um, water and ice chips and popsicles. Like what, yeah, it's what terrible. kind of diet is that? And I get a full course four course meal, delicious, absolutely wonderful food that they serve <laughs> here. So, you know, life's just not fair. All right, made it to the elevator. We're going to the third-ish. No, tell, we're going. We're going to the ninth floor. That way, nobody finds us. All the way up. Figures all it out. Up. But as far as right now, how many centimeters dilated? Are you ready to give birth? No. Like he's not coming out. He soon. is not ready. But mommy is ready, so you're out. Exactly. He's not ready at all. He does not want to leave. It is so cozy and comfy in there, and there's <laughs> good food that comes in all the time. There it is, folks, the maternity center. I'm so excited. Here we go, heading back. Get things started. All right, so here we are. Got a knock to get in. Oh, wow, check this place out. That's where I'm gonna sleep, because I think that's a heater. Oh, yeah, that's 100% where I'm napping. Check this beautiful room out. This is luxury living right here. Check out all the seating and stuff. Look at the size of this bathroom door. It's massive. Thank God nobody's in here. I should have knocked, but look at this. Look, we even know the toilet never been used since it's been cleaned last. That's a neat little thing to do, a little yeah, shield. Like yeah, nice little seat and a beautiful shower, which I've taken a shower in one of these before and it is chef's kiss. I do like it. And yeah. they do have a little. Oh yeah, it goes everywhere and anywhere. You don't have to worry about missing yeah. a spot with that. <laughs> you just gotta make sure like I don't lay my clothes on the <laughs> They'll get soaked. All right, let's check out where you're gonna be doing all the work. Or actually, I'm gonna be doing all the work on this little table right here. But you're gonna be doing some of the work, I guess. Do all the work, work, work. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do all the push, push, push. Check out the view that I get from our window. How neat! Look at that. Look at this building. There's a door right there. I guess somebody has to have access. I just wouldn't expect a door like that. That just looks like a regular door. Pretty neat, looks like a scene from a action thriller. Oh look, it goes all the way over there. I know there's a glare, but you can see the, goes all the way around the corner there. That's pretty neat. Ooh, everybody's eyes with that one. 
sitting here waiting for the honey to get changed. She's putting on her robe in the bathroom, and I just want to talk about the am amount of emotions that I'm just going through. I will never get tired of this feeling, of this anticipation of bringing another little risk into the world. It has just been, literally, this is the peak of my life. I've never, in my entire, I loved my childhood. So that's to put things in perspective. Like, I absolutely loved my childhood, but this, having little children, like, everything's just snapping into place. Oh, check out the big tough mama over here already sweating oh, no. all Bye. because of a little ivy. <laughs> She's so bad with needles, but it's okay. You did a great job. You didn't even wince or nothing. I saw your face, but you did a great job. I know. I was like looking out. I couldn't yeah. look, but I don't know. Like my veins just like, I mean, you guys can see there's none there. I mean, yeah, you should be Where able to they? see. You Where should be able they? to see right through your skin, but I don't know. There's nothing. There's like one on my hand, which... I know that they've done an IV on my hand before, but she insisted to do it on my arm today, so. You did a great job. Thank you. All right, so it turns out that she can actually eat before they get everything started, but this is pretty much what she's limited to, just a bit of cereal. Oh, no, you're gonna have to wait. No. We're gonna put some sugar on it, and then it'll be ready to go. <laughs> we gotta spice it up. You gotta spice it up, that's right. <laughs> One of the super cool features about this room is the studio lighting with the mirror. Look at that. These lights look super duper intense. I need these for when we go live. Like maybe we can ask them to turn it on and we'll go live during the birthing process. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, so 60788, birth date. Getting excited. It actually turns out that if you take the 23 as well and you do 2 to the power of 3, it equals 8 as well. Just a little nerd fact. So he's going to be born on 888. Eight. Oh, whoa. Rolled up a little too high there. They hate it. There you go. Oh, you're going right back to where you just were. All right, now you're breaking stuff. <laughs> you're doing what I do best. Check out all these machines. This is a lot more than what you had last time. I don't remember all these machines. Nice little wheels on it, which you can drag around, which is pretty cool, because she can't actually get up and go to the bathroom if she has to. I, on the other hand, just found this chair hidden in the corner. It was actually just like this. I moved it. Look at that. They don't even want you to know about this beautiful hidden chair. She's got the comfy seat, of course. That right there is about as comfy as it gets, but check this out. It's a rocking chair. This chair's a rocking. It's because I'm rocking it. There's also this chair. Check this one out. Wow, this one has wheels. I already moved it, put it into position. This is like the quintessential lazy boy right there. Let's take a see. Oh, this one, yeah, wheels around so I can literally <laughs> wheel around the room. That's so cool, that chair is good. Put my feet up and lay down. Check that out. Beautiful, turn on the TV, honey. Oh, that's what fell. All right, I know, weird scene, but let me show you what I just discovered about this toilet. Yes, I do lift them when I use them. Look at that! I've never seen a toilet shape like that. It literally looks like a person's face. All right, as I'm just getting comfy here, look at that, getting all nice and cozy with the soft blanket. She's actually starting her extremer contractions, and she's, like, ready. We It's 6.15. She's ready for that epidural. <laughs> Already. <laughs> I can't judge or say anything because I have no clue what that pain feels like, but I can only imagine that it is not comfortable. We should definitely do that test where you feel this pain. I'll walk around with a watermelon, zap my body with those little contractor things. Oh man, it's like intense. I believe it. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. I do like it. All right, about 15 minutes in and mom is feeling it. These contractions are legit so intense. This Pitocin or Oxytocin is really working quick. Like you're ready too. to push them out now. Maybe. Maybe. The paper just printed, there's contractions on it. Oh yeah, every time you hear that yeah. sound, it's, yeah, it's contractions. <laughs> oh man, oh, back to back. I'm gonna go relax now. All right, one of her first requests of me is to crack her toes, so. No, there's one. Oh, that one almost Ow. pulled off. Yeah, sorry. Your toes are so slippery. Oh, oh. that was a good one. Oh yeah. This might need to go into the members only part. 
That felt good, thank you. You're welcome, I love you. Mommy. All right, 7.42, a little update on how mommy is doing. She Ooh. is ready for her epidural. That's how she's doing. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> how I'm doing. But to get an epidural started, she has to go through two of these giant bags of fluid. And <laughs> that has to come out eventually, too. So You're going to have to carry me. Wait, to where? To the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I know how to install a catheter. Oh, all right, 8.52, and things have progressed incredibly. We've actually gotten the epidural done. Look at how happy she is now. Look at that smile. It's rough. Getting an epidural is rough, but she champed through it, and the uh, anesthesiologist was absolutely wonderful. She did a fantastic job. She Didn't did struggle so this good. time. Much better than last time. And now <laughs> it's time. <laughs> That's right. The last one was a drill sergeant. Man. It was not good, but there you go. Look at that. She's got her clear liquid diet. That's what she's allowed to have. So <laughs> this is new news to us. So this is good. So what do you think you got? Um, okay. Well, this was apple juice. That it was just apple looks juice. so good. Oh, look at this that. This is like Luigi's a little... lemon. Yeah. That's George's favorite. My sister. Oh. They eat those all the time, I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that. not the gluten-free ones. Oh, oh look this at is that. Uh, some warm, just some broth. Some warm apple juice. Yeah. And then I oh, got that some good. orange juice. Oh yeah. And yeah, then it smells really good. It smells like good is, chicken soup. Um, I think just hot water to make some tea. Yeah, I'm gonna probably steal that from you. Okay. Okay. I love you. Wait. What else you got? Oh, some here's salt, your sugar. Salt and pepper and some sugar. No sugar. Yeah, for your tea. All right. Let's see what I got. All right. I already opened it, but you're gonna get to see. Let's see what I've got. Oh, look at that. Some scrambled eggs, two sausage links, and a French toast with some cranberries, juices. And bananas. Not bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see you drink that jello through a straw. It's a new way to drink a jello shot. <laughs> you got some. <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> oh. We're, over here. Told me. We're over here crushing our food, and the nurse comes in. <laughs> And at the very end, she says, you know, you got your straw and your gel oh, there, genius. <laughs> it says orange. I look All right, our 930 check in. Let's see how mom's doing. Out. She took a couple sips of that gel. <laughs> she, she was out like a light. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I just can't help it. I'm going push her one. Is what is that? I'm gonna need subtitles for this scene. <laughs> what did the you blood just pressure say? one woke me up. Oh, 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 yeah, that thing goes off every few minutes, so and it's annoying. like, yeah, that's it literally so your tight. biggest complaint. Oh, well, yeah, it's oh. testing your blood pressure. It's good. They don't need to test it. What are you gonna do when you wake up? Hold my boy. That's better than what I was thinking you were going to say. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to say, I'm going to Disneyland or something like that, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Holding him is probably what we should. That was the right answer. You did nothing wrong. <laughs> crazy. Oh, good night. All right, 1138. And here's our update on mommy. How are you doing, mom? Good, finally. Um, I got some nausea medicine, so Zofran. And I feel good. And then you went and got me some gum, but it was helping with the nausea too. And then I checked baby. They had me flip on my side, and then he freaked out. His heart rate dropped. So they put me on the other side, and he's doing a lot better. And we are only four centimeters dilated. Oh, man. It's been four hours or so. Yeah. But Ish. they got a good um, contraction pattern, so hopefully we just go. It'll be here soon. Yep, it'll be quick. She did just notice that for some reason the trash can, let's see if it'll pick it up. There it is. It's almost like a hidden message. In the comment section below, let me know what the hidden message is. All right, about 12.20 now, and mom is doing much better. Definitely much better. And lunch Hungry. just got here. Look at look at that scrumsh diddly umptious <laughs> lunch. She's got two apple juices and orange juice. Luigi's ice and chicken broth. Nummy nums. <laughs> and I'm over here with a nice piece of center cut filet mignon and some asparagus and pine nuts sauteed to heck? deliciousness. <laughs> I'm over here getting this. I don't know. This is just what they gave me. And look, I even got a, 
delicious, super succulent, moist piece of angel food cake. <laughs> A uh, super fat, oh my goodness, delicate. Wow, so delicate roll. And some fresh peaches, fresh off the tree peaches. All right, about 1.21 and we've got some news. All right, so the water is broken, but unfortunately it caused little baby risk to freak out a little bit and his heart rate is going through something they're calling variable, which is just it's going up and down at a weird rate depending on how they position her. So if they turn her on her side, he freaks out a little bit and it drops. If they put her back on her back, it rises up. Now that she's kind of sitting still, it's been about 15 minutes since they've, maybe about 20 minutes since they broke the water and they're running out now they're gonna create like a, an artificial swimming pool in there they put another type of catheter inside so it goes around the baby and they're gonna put some other types of fluids in there because what ends up happening with the change of pressure because he no longer has that water to float around in it causes the baby to drop lower putting a lot of pressure on the cervix which can pinch or you know clamp down on the uh, umbilical cord which is what's causing the variable heart rate so it is serious but it's not anything to freak out over yet it is very emotional over here but i think everything's gonna be okay oh my goodness folks it finally happened he's here take a look at this sweet baby boy Mommy did such an incredible job. So we're gonna wait for a few minutes before we actually reveal his face. He's gotta finish eating and then when we get his weight and stuff, we'll get a better look at him. Oh, That's mom so did cute. such an amazing job. Thank you so much, honey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful boy. Hello. Deposit. Oh, sure did. Oh, no way. Good job. Good job. Good job, little buddy. That was so fast. Oh, I know. I know. You're so big. Yeah. You're so brave. I need that little hand. There you go. There you have so so done everything so fast. <laughs> right? Good job, little buddy. Good job. <laughs> All right, while mom is feeding baby, I'll show you guys what's feeding me. And this is a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Came with mashed potatoes and gravy. This is their dinner. And it came with a breadstick, which I already crushed. As you can see, I've already dug in. I got an apple juice. Um, this is the sour cream, salsa, fruit cup. And mom got green beans, but she didn't like them. What's going on? This is day number two and check it out. We're in the second room. So we go from labor and delivery to this room where the family can actually come and visit and check this room out. It is a little smaller than the other one, but just as nice. I don't get a rocking chair. I get a stationary chair, but of course I got to sleep in the recliner last night and check out this view. Oh, check this out. This is a beautiful courtyard, much better than that red brick that you can only see on the other side. So beautiful. This is much better. And I was even told that there's a statue, you can almost see it. It's literally right there on the other side of that. But this is so cool. Check out that sun sunrise. Ooh. Everything has gone great. Little boy did so good throughout the entire night. He was eating regularly. Mom was nursing, which is fantastic. It's always good when they latch right away. And he is a pro. He sleeps a lot, which is also good. But of course, he's tired from the delivery, just like we are. So we're all getting our sleep. But check it out. Look at this little guy. And there you are, little boy. Mom's taking a shower because she deserves to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, you are so precious. I'm gonna let him sleep, but his brother and sisters were here last night and oh my goodness, it was just literally everything a parent hopes for. You know, they all came in ooing and aahing and 
Evelyn held him so much. It's her baby. Yasmin, of course, tried to play with his little cheek. And <sighs> Jackson was just enamored with him. So everything is great. So we're going to stay the rest of today. So tomorrow he gets his 24 to 48 hour check. So we're going to stay at least until then. And then we'll be discharged. We're going to go home a little early this time. Usually we stay the full three days just because it's nice to have all the help you can get with a newborn. But... Uh, I think we've got it covered from now on, so I think we're going to go ahead and head home early. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to plan for, a lot, a lot of moves to make to keep this family going. And something I should probably point out is that this little fella right here, hiding his face, <laughs> has already taken like six poops, which if anybody has been around newborn babies, you know that's really not normal. Normally they have about one poop every 24 hours, and the first one is really gunky never seen it. it looks like tar it's just because it's all the fluid and stuff that gets built up while they're inside mom's womb so he's already had like five or six of those <laughs> everybody's blown away they love it though that's like ahead of schedule so it's not a bad thing so <laughs> we've had a lot of diapers to change in the last like 12 to 15 hours or so just sleeping away the delivery went extremely smooth mom did an incredible job once it was ready to start pushing it only took her two pushes to get him two and a half pushes i'd say actually two pushes and a laugh let's just say that i was in the delivery room so my mistake but he came flying out just like the other two jackson was the only one that didn't come flying right out he came flying right out big old cry on his way out <laughs> Let us know that he was happy to be here, and then he was quiet. He was very silent for a very long time. He didn't have any types of fussies, and I ran over, and I cut the cord, and they placed him right on Mom's chest. I wish I could have filmed all this. I, I wasn't allowed to. There's no filming during the medical procedures, technically, so I wasn't able to catch that on camera. I was able to take pictures, but I wasn't able to film it, but everybody did fantastic. Doctor, uh, our doctor did a wonderful job. The honey did a fantastic job. She was such a pro and of course little baron did a wonderful job joining us here on planet earth and we're so happy to have you buddy <laughs> yes Yeah, normally they'll scream and cry while you're bathing them and then you wash their hair and they're like, oh. That's so nice. Yes, that was a good picture. You keep looking for me. I know I always got a camera right in front of my face.
How did you stay awake oh, through that? Need, um, so relaxing, I almost fell asleep. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And a scalp massage? Yeah. Oh, his eyes went cross. <laughs> too much goodness. <laughs> I forgot. It's too much goodness. No, oh my gosh. Look at the hair on oh, yeah. him. There she goes. She spiked it for you. <laughs> You're too cute. <laughs> Finally, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Baby's done with his first bath, and it's time to finally reveal what Baby Risk number four's name is. His official name is Baron Lyrics Risk. Baron is spelled B E R Y N L Y R I X. Oh, gosh, you're so cute. All right, it's officially day number three of Baby Boy Risk being here. Little Baron Lyrics Risk. And that's how it's pronounced. And he just got taken away from circumcision, which is okay. We've already been through that procedure once with Jackson. It was great. My family got our kids done, so there's no big deal there. I'm not worried about any of the risks that are associated with it. These people are professionals. They know what they're doing. I'm sure they do thousands a year. So there's no uh, issue with that right there. He's been doing absolutely fantastic. He's been eating on time. He's been sleeping a decent bit. And I have to say, crying-wise, total since he's been born has maybe been five, six minutes. Like, literally five, six minutes total in the last three days of crying. So very quiet. He looks around a lot, which is awesome. His eyes are so big and so beautiful, as you guys have seen. <sighs> Absolutely enamored with this little guy. Absolutely love it. Can't wait till he gets back. <laughs> oh my god, he is so good. How did you do? It's so good. Good job, little buddy. Come back. I know, I'm sorry. You're going home. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I just need to so see cute. Him. Oh, it's so You're all free. Welcoming home new baby brother. Look at you two. Good job. You guys are going to protect him forever, right? Yeah, you promise? You promise to protect him forever, Yazzie? Yeah. yeah. God, I love you. Your girls are so perfect. <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. <laughs> All the lovin's. Oh my God. Oh, she's rocking and singing. Oh my God, girl, you're so cute. <laughs> 